today I'm going to show you how to get this fun Valentine's Day look with um, hearts on the side and this one, this one's the better side. And these pretty lips, it's really pretty for Valentine's Day and it's really fun look to do. So um, stay tuned guys. I use Too Faced Shadow Insurance all over my lid and underneath and I define my brows and you might even want to use some like residue up here, you know, just so if you want to wear this all day that it stays. So I'm going to use my Manly palette. Now I'm just going to use this one side with the reds. And I'm going to take this red. Um, that's going to be my first color. I'm just going to take a flat-ish, fluff, yep, fluffy brush. And I forgot if I told you, but I defined my brows. And this is a little tricky to go on. This red, I hadn't used it before today. But it was kind of like the perfect color. It wasn't too orange. It wasn't too, oh my god, I'm red. And, um, you really have to make sure your shadow insurance is really dry before you put this on. Otherwise, this is, since this, um, bleh, since it's so hard to go on, it's already tacky. So, if your shadow insurance isn't dry, it won't go on well. And I'm just going to take a flat brush, and I'm sorry if you hear that. Sorry. Um, that's my phone. I'm going to take a flat brush like this, and I'm going to take just a white, just not that much. I took the white, and, on, and this is the shimmer, is this a shimmery white? Yeah. Because I believe there's a matte white in the Mally, and there, not the Mally, the Manly, and there's a shimmery white. Um, so I'm going to take the shimmery white, and I'm just going <gasps> to, sorry, hiccups. I'm just going to put it over this, just to give it a little bit of shimmer since it is in the corner of my eye and I'm gonna go in with this red now Ooh. the same brush it's not gonna make much of a difference just gonna give it like a little a little depth and now I'm gonna just clean my brush off so I don't get I'm gonna go in with this red now see, the eye is the easy part. Now this look is actually easier on things if you're doing extra stuff on your face. That is going to be difficult, which it's not. I mean, does this even look difficult? You're just putting eyeshadow on. I don't know. Some people are stupid. Now I'm going to take a piece of tape. And I got this really crappy tape that doesn't like to stick. So don't get like... Um store brand tape. And I'm just going to tape it on an angle. I'm going to take my favorite black, which if you guys watch all my tutorials, I use this black in every single one. And I'm just going to go in and define my outer V. With, I just use, I have two of these brushes. I just use this one because I used it on the black before. And I have two, so one's a little thinner because it's newer. My bird doesn't sound okay. I really should go check on it. It does sound like it's dying. That's good. Sorry if you hear them, by the way. So, you're going to take this tape off, and you're going to need it in a few minutes, so just stick it on your vanity or whatever you're doing it. And I'm going to go in with this orangey red. I feel like these two, this one and this one, are the main reds. And I'm going to use, like, I have, like, a domey brush, and it's stiff. So I'm just going to take that, and on the angle, I'm just, oh, I'm just going to put this slightly on top, but I'm just going to, like, fill, in the eye. And make sure you don't go like this and put it on straight, make sure it's on the angle. It just makes you better application. And then, when you need to, like, get in here, you can do it straight. Okay. So now you're going to take this tape and make sure all your hair is out of your way. And you're going to tape from where that ends up 
up until wherever the tape ends. And you need to get a blush brush ready. You're going to take that same orangey red and just continue it. And if you're going to use the one from the Manly palette, it goes on very nice and you don't need a lot to get a lot of pigment. Right now I'm just dotting it on and then I'm going to take the blush brush and just blend it out. Now I'm just going to take this tape off just to see if I got the straight line. I did. You just want to go over the straight line to make sure it's not harsh. The only thing with tape, it leaves you with harsh lines. You just want to make sure that you're blending well. Just pretend like you're putting eyeshadow on. You don't want different spots of color. You don't want one darker here. Okay, so now with my ring finger, I'm just going to take this, which is also going to be my highlight, this and just pat it on here so it just fades out well. And just blend that up a little. Okay. So, with that same triangular brush, I'm just going to put my highlight on, which is the same color you just use to blend out your cheek. And with this angle brush, I'm just going to take some matte black and just, you know, I'm not going to take matte black, I lied. I'm going to take the same black. I don't know why I was taking matte black. Just going to line the bottom of your eye. I usually bring down the color on the inside, but I'm not because it's going to be like holy red. Okay. So now I have these things. I found them downstairs in like my craft box. They're wax stickers that you stick on a candle. You can get them in like Michaels, and they're already sticky, so you don't need any glue. So right now I have, um,. Cupid's bow thing going on. I'm not going to do that on the side because you know how I feel about symmetry. So I'm just going to take them off and stick them. And I'm not going to do what I did in the other eye because I just think that kind of looks tacky. And I also bought these from the craft store. I use them in my... I think I use them in my tutorials. So now you're going to break out your eyelash glue. And these aren't sticky. They're not the ones you use in your cell phones. So you actually need eyelash glue for this one. So I'm just going to take one of my tweezers and just pick them up with the jewel facing me because that way it's flat on this side so you don't need to turn around and you can just put some glue on. The things you learn when you make many mistakes. Difficulties here. Oh, God damn it. oh my God. I'm sorry. I'll be right back. 